next gentleman coming to the stage. Good buddy of mine, very funny, makes a noise for Brandon. Bone break! <laughs> This is taped in here, I'm not taking it out. <laughs> Guys, give it up for yourselves for coming out here. Keep fucking clap, I see people, I can see you. You're not clapping. You can't, this is for you. You came out here, you guys don't realize that most shows are in the back of the bar, not the front. And there's six people there. It's like some sort of like comedy fight club, except the one rules you probably should have talked about the show more. <laughs> but you guys showed up. You guys are ready to fuck, you know, tear down society. Let's do that. Let's get right into it, guys. I think mermaids were an excuse for sailors to fuck fish. <laughs> I don't think it's a popular opinion, but I'm gonna stand by it, okay? I don't know why, but every time I picture like that argument, I just think about like, bro, so I was fucking this fish, right? <laughs> no, dude, she was a hot fish. <laughs> like, never seen any ugly mermaids, is my point. Is anybody here good at breaking up with somebody? Is that a yes? Yeah. It was one hand clap, so I'm gonna guess yes. Uh, I I don't want to break up with anybody. I just I tried breaking up with somebody one time. And I I got like like conflict devices mixed up. I treated it like I was handling a bear in the wilderness. I just got real big. I was like ah 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 ah, and I played dead for six months. I went home for Thanksgiving. Always a bad idea in Muskegon. I, I don't know about, I look like I should be in a band, but I'm not. Uh, I do comedy. But I'm still pretty liberal. I went home, I met my, uh, my sister's black boyfriend, which is not a big, a big deal, uh, unless you grew up in the 1800s in Muskegon. Uh, he, I learned a lot, I learned a lot about myself, about him. I learned that he prefers, uh, he doesn't want to be called an African American, it's weird for him, he prefers involuntary American. Um, <laughs> I also learned the whitest thing I've ever said, which is, uh, I don't really fuck with gluten. I, I kind of, uh, I told a girl, I told that, that joke uh, a while back, and this girl came up to me after the show and was like, you can't say that, that's racist. And I was like, Okay, well, uh, uh, okay. And she's like, I'm from Detroit, I know about racism. And I was like, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Well, what part of Detroit are you from? Rochester Hills. <laughs> yeah, that's not... <laughs> that's not a thing. My grandpa died recently, and I don't mean comedian recently, like actually recently. Like this was a lot of comics like be like last week my grandpa died. No, he's dead. Like it was shit as of last week. Uh, uh, we went to his funeral. They asked me to carry the casket. I don't know why. I was hungover. I didn't really like him. He was a racist. He's a kind of old guy that was just like yeah, yeah, Patriot Act. Like you don't. I was happy. Uh, I don't know, do you guys know how you want to be buried? I don't know why I pointed the oldest man in the audience. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Do you young people know how you want to be buried? Or how do you want to be buried? Do you? Yeah, no, we're not going to do Pat Seaver's bit. Okay, we're going to go. <laughs> sorry, Pat. I'm so sorry. I hope this is regular. I'm a piece of shit. I'm so sorry. You can be shot in this space now. I'm such a cunt. I... <laughs> You'd be shot in his face. But what nobody explains to you is that there's different price levels to that. <laughs> For $900, they'll shoot you up just below the atmosphere and drop you back down. <laughs> but they don't say where. <laughs> so for $900, you can fuck up somebody's day. <laughs> I 
For two, for two thousand dollars, they'll shoot you up in the atmosphere and you'll burn back through like a meteorite. They call that the Columbia edition. Um, okay. Ah, uh, I didn't think I was old enough to know that shit, did you? So my grandpa dies, they asked me to carry the casket. I don't know why. Uh, I learned that there's two times that are bad to drop a human. Uh, <laughs> one's when they're a baby, and the other is if you waited a really long time to drop a baby. Uh, they asked me to speak, and I did it because stage time is stage time. And I went up and basically just said, Grandpa's hugs aren't as warm as they used to be, and then left. <laughs> It was weird. Like, it was at a Catholic church, but they had, like, the sexiest, most ripped Jesus I've ever seen in my life. Like, it had pecs. Like, defined pecs. Like, it had shoulders. It looked like it had been bench-pressing all your prayers up to heaven. Like, it looked like it had shoulders from just holding up all your sins. Like, these, like, sexy, I don't, like, sexy jacked-ass legs, you know, just from kicking gays out of heaven. You know what I mean? So I, I see it, Dan. <laughs> so I was walking down the street the other day. <laughs> guy, uh, I was wearing a gray button-up shirt, and this guy goes, nice gray shirt, queer. I learned the wrong response to that is, it's chambray, dick. <laughs> So I told that joke in a small, shitty city, and I used the word city quite loosely, of all gray Michigan, which is literally just a scene from Fargo. Uh, and nobody laughed, probably because all three other gay guys were sitting in the audience with their wives. Uh, and this lady came up to me after the show, and she was like, I just want you to know that was a bad laugh. And I'm sorry all your female impersonations sound like this. <laughs> I was like, that's not a thing. There's no such thing as a bad laugh. If you have to fart and I tickle you, and you fart, you don't get to be like, that's a bad fart. That was in you, I pulled it out, I won. My name is Brandon Bomber. Give it up for your host. Dad.